All right, Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makar, Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only God and Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ, and Bahasham is in the name. Rakah Kodash is the Holy Spirit. And also, um, Shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring in this truth for the sake of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And Shalom to the innumerable multitude. All right, men, women, and children that's, that's listening. All right, in all truth and in sincerity, Shalom. All right, I'm going to get to the topic here. Uh, as you see, natural disasters. All right, you know, it's on my spirit to do this video here. All right, because, all right, natural disasters, you know, it's, is, is, uh, it's all of the Lord, all right? It's the Lord's judgment and the Lord visiting, you know, the earth, man. All right, the earth which he made, man. All right, so I'm going to pull up your precepts here, precepts. And uh, I know Lord willing, this video is edifying. All right, let me just read here the uh, natural disaster, what it says here. It says, excuse me, it says a natural disaster is a major adverse event resulting from natural processes of the of the earth Examples include floods, hurricanes, tornadoes, volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, tsunamis, storms, and other geologic processes. All right. All right. So flash flood, you know, uh, uh, what they call an avalanche. All right. You know, these is all judgments. You know, this is all of the Lord, man. All right. The Lord, you know, ordains everything, you know, that's on earth, man. All right. No, um, let me actually start here. I was gonna start in other precepts, uh, but let me start here. All right, this is uh, all right, let me get Matthew, Matthew 10, verse. I start at 28. It says, And fear not them which kill the body, but but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body. Are not two sparrows sold for a, for a farthing? And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. All right? You know, so everything is ordained by Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. All right, a sparrow won't fall from the ground. All right, you know those little birds—they don't fall from the ground without the without the heavenly Father sanctioning it, man. All right. So with that being said, I'm gonna get an account here and uh, numbers. Uh, really, the point is at 32, but I had it highlighted from earlier. So let me start at. I'll just start at 23. All right, it says, this is Numbers chapter 16 and verse 23. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, speak unto the congregation, saying, get you up from the tabernacle, from the tabernacle of, of Korah, Dathan, Dathan, and, and Abram, and Abram, Salakia. And Moses rose up and went, and went unto Dothan and Abram and the elders of Israel followed him and he spake unto the congregation saying depart I pray you from the tents of these wicked men and touch nothing of theirs lest ye be consumed in all their sins all right and it says uh, verse 27 it says so they got up from the tabernacle of Korah Dothan and and Abram and on every side and Dothan and and Abram came out and stood in the door of their tents and their and their wives and their sons and their little children and Moses said hereby ye shall know uh, I kind of skipped the part all right let me go back up real quick. Salakia. 
all right, because you know they didn't want to. Uh, they was supposed to bring. Uh, let me just see if I can get the scripture here. Salakia. All right, let me start at. I'll start at. Con. Let me start at 11. Numbers 16 and 11, for which. Uh, it says, for which cause both thou and all thy company are gathered together against the Lord. And what is Aaron that ye, that ye murmured against him? And Moses sent to call Dothan and Abram and the sons of Alab, which said, we will not come up. All right. So they was being rebellious. All right. Verse 13, it says, it is a small thing that thou has brought us up out of the land that floweth with milk and honey to kill us in the wilderness, except thou make thyself altogether a prince over us. Were, moreover, thou hast not brought us into a land that flows with milk and honey, or given us or given us inheritance of fields and vineyards. Wilt thou put out the eyes of these men? We will not come up. And Moses was very wrought, and said unto the Lord, Respect thou not their offering. I have not taken one ass from them, neither have I hurt one of them. All right. So Moses he ain't want nothing to do with them, man. Huh? All right, it says, and Moses said unto Korah, be thou and all thy company before the Lord, thou and they and Aaron tomorrow and take every man his censer and put incense in them and bring ye before the Lord, every man his censer, 20, 150 censers, thou also and Aaron, each, each of you his censer. And they took every man his censer and put them in fire and laid incense thereon and stood in the door of the tabernacle of the congregation of Moses and Aaron. All right. And then it's verse 19. It says, and Korah gathered all the congregation against them unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation and the glory of the Lord appeared unto the congregation and the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron saying, separate yourselves from this congregation that I may consume them in a moment. And they fell upon their faces, uh, upon their faces, and said, "Oh, oh God, the spirits of the it says the 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 power of the spirits of all flesh shall one man sin, and wilt thou be wrought with all the congregation?" All right, you know, and this is where I'll lead it up to here. All right, so you know they was being rebellious. All right, plain and simple. All right. <clears throat> And uh, let me get to the point here. All right. Um, one second. All right, verse 28. All right, verse 28 says, And Moses said, Hereby ye shall know that the Lord hath sent me to do all these works, for I have not done them of mine own mind. If these men die in the common death of all men, or if they be visited after the visitation of all men, then the Lord have not sent me. But if the Lord make a new thing and the earth open her mouth and swallow them up with well, all that pertain unto them and they go down quick into the pit, then ye shall understand that these men have provoked the Lord. All right. And watch what the Lord do to him, man. Verse 31. And it came to pass as he had made an end of speaking all these things. <clears throat> Salaki, as he had made an end of speaking all these words, that the ground clave asunder that was under them, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up, and their houses and all the men that that appertained unto them, uh, Salaki unto Korah, and all their goods. So the Lord and the Lord, you know took them down man to the pits of hell man all right you know uh opened up the earth man all right you know and the earth swallowed them up man them their house all right you know that's how you know you know what we have here is vanity man 
all vanity, man. The Lord, the Lord will open up the earth. The Lord can open up the earth on you and your whole house, man. All right, you just you work so hard to get this mansion. All right, the Lord will open the open the earth on your whole mansion, man. All right, you know, or your uh, you want to get the penthouse of a condo. All right, you know, you you sell out the Lord to get that penthouse. All right, the Lord will open that whole earth on the, on the whole thirty to forty foot building, man. How about that, man? All right, and the, and the sinkhole. You know, thousands of thousands, 32,000 feet, you know, more. All right. You know, that's how bad the Lord is, man. All right. That's why we ought to, ought to fear Yahweh by Shimei All right. And this is judgment of the Lord, man. These so called natural disasters is judgment of Yahweh by Shimei All right. And verse 33, it says, They and all that, appert that appertained. To them went down alive into the pit, and the earth closed upon them, and they perished from among the congregation. You see that, man? They perished, man. And all Israel that were round about them fled at the cry of them, for they said, Lest the earth swallow us up also. That was an example, man. All right? To not play with the Lord, man. All right, and to get and, and to get a visual here. <clears throat> Uh, I'm gonna just type in sinkhole. I didn't want that. I'll put skin, Salakia. All right, sinkhole. You see that, man? All right. Ooh, look at this one, man. That's scary, man. All right. I was trying to see if it said like a like an estimated depth into that. All right. This is a 40 foot sinkhole. All right. All right. So lock you. All right. But you see that massive sinkhole. All right. This is the Lord opening up that earth, man. All right. You know, I recently seen one on uh on social media as well, you know. Uh, let me just get a visual of that uh, uh, earth open and swallow them up. All right. They even go to numbers 16 and 32, man. All right. You know, look at that, man. All right. Finished, man. All right. So natural disasters. All right. What they call natural disasters, man. These is all... You know, judgment of Yahweh by Shemir Al-Shah, man. You know, you can't say, you know, uh, man, it's just wrong place, wrong time, you know? All right? Because whoever perished being innocent, man. Okay? Let me just pull that real quick. Uh, Job 4 and 7, it says, Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? All right? You know? Whoever perished being innocent, man. All right, this is all judgment of the Lord. All right, the Lord is judging this place, man. All right, continue to judge, man. All right, where it doesn't matter if it's a hurricane, all right, a, a flash flood, you know, whatever the case may be, some type of uh, quote unquote natural disaster, man. All right, this is all of your how about Shimmy man. All right, nothing more, nothing less, man. All. Judgment of the Lord. All right, let me get Isaiah. Isaiah 29 and, and uh, 6. It says, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire, man. All right, you know, so uh, a sandstorm. All right. You know, you got sandstorms, you know, these tornadoes, all right? All these is, is the Lord visiting this place, all right? And his judgment, man, all right? Judgment of Yahweh Ba Shemi man, all right? So you can never say, you know, um, you know, it was just a freak accident, you know? The Lord sanctioned it, man, 
All right? The Lord sanctioned it, man. All right, let me read that again. Isaiah 29, verse 6, it says, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord. All right, so this is the Lord visiting the earth, man. All right, when you see hail storms, all right, you know, your thunderstorms, all right, this is all Yahweh Shem Shah, man. Call all Yahweh Shem Shah, man. All right, people, a lot of people would be dying of, you know, tsunamis, all right, down by the beach, all right, because the scriptures say, you know, that the water, it doesn't pass, you know, it doesn't pass that decree, man, all right. So if it's a tsunami, you better believe that the Lord ordained that, man. All right, let me actually pull it out here. If I'm not mistaken. Um, it's lock here. Con, con. Jeremiah 5 and 22. All right. So it says here, Jeremiah 5 and 22. Fear ye not me, saith Yahweh. Will ye not tremble in my, in my presence, which have, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree? So an everlasting decree, man. All right. You know, from the beginning of times when the Lord created it. All right. The heaven and earth. All right. To now, man. All right, this is a decree from Yahweh Bashim Yah Shah. All right, that the waves, all right, tossing to and fro, all right, you know, they won't pass that decree. All right, they won't pass the decree, uh, um, you know, by the beach. All right, it says, which have placed the sand of the sea for a bound, uh, for the bound of this, for the bound of the, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree that it cannot pass it. And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can yet they yet can they not prevail? Prevail though they roar, yet they salakia. Yet can they not pass over it? All right, they cannot, man. All right, unless the Lord, all right, decrees it, man. All right, and, and water is a very strong uh, element, man. All right, you know water can destroy a car lift up a car all right a water water can you know rip through a house like bread man all right water is a, a very strong element man all right and the lord controls water man all right even down to the simplest uh to the simplest things man all right so even with that being said the lord so the lord controls the decree of the water all right so it don't pass how much more you know us man all right mortal uh mortal beings man all right you know hey but the israelites were going to be immortal in the kingdom of heaven man all right from the greatest to the least israelite man all right they're going to be immortal all right you know so it's for the elect and the two-third you know they're going to be destroyed they're going to come back and they're going to be immortal all right because the lord is going to put our laws Gonna, gonna put his law, statutes, commandments into our inner inward parts, man. All right, you know, but not to get off topic there. Um, but you know, so the Lord controls everything, man. All right, the Lord uh, sanctions everything. All right, you know, and uh, I have another one here. This is uh, the book of Sirach. I think it was 51. Uh, point is at verse 5. I'll start at the top. Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, chapter 51 and verse 1. It says, A prayer of Yahweh Shai, the son of Sirach. All right, and this is not, you know, our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai. It's just, you know, uh, uh, what it says here, it says, Jesus, you know, Joshua is another name. For our Lord Yahweh Shah. All right. Multiple people in the scriptures have the name Yahweh Shah. All right. And it says, it says, a prayer, a prayer of Yahweh Shah, the son of Sirach. I will thank thee, O Lord and King, and praise thee, O God, my Savior, 
I do give praise unto thy name. All right. Hey, we give praise unto Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh Shire, man. Verse two, for thou art my defender and helper and has preserved my body from destruction and from the snare of the slanderous tongue and from the lips that forge lies. Esau, man. All right. These so-called white people, man. All right. And has been mine helper against my adversaries, man. All right. The Lord is our defense, man. All right. And ultimately, the Lord is, is preserving our bodies. You know, Lord willing, we be part of that number. I speak through faith. You know, the Lord is preserving our bodies from destruction, man. All right. So these natural disasters that's uh, that goes on, man, so-called natural disasters. All right. The Lord is going to uh, preserve his elect, man. All right. So from your worst hurricanes, your worst tornadoes, all right, your worst flash floods. All right. Your worst tsunamis. All right. Whatever the case may be, man, the Lord, you know, he, he will preserve his elect, man, as long as you, you know, lean upon him, man. All right. And, you know, and, and of course, you know, not only the natural disasters. All right. But the main the main thing. All right. You know, according to prophecy. All right. Esau coming in like a flood, man. All right. When martial law breaks loose, Esau coming in like a flood, the so-called white man. All right. Kicking down doors. All right. You know, because martial law will be declared here in America, man. All right. It will be lawlessness in the streets, man. All right. The Lord is going to be a defender for his elect. Lift up that standard, man. Verse three. And has delivered me according to the multitude of thy mercies and greatness of thy name from the teeth of them that were ready to devour me. Esau, Edom, man. All right. His teeth, man. All right. Trying to. You know, trying to, uh, you know, force us, not, not not force, but trying to convince us to take the jab. All right. Take this mark of the beast. You know, let me implant you, you know, you know, the teeth. All right. Of, of our enemy, man. All right. And them and it says of them that were ready to devour me and out of the hands of such as sought after my life and from the manifold afflictions, which I had. All right. So the Lord delivers us from everything, man. He's our rock, man. He's our shield. You know, I think that goes back to Psalm 91. My rock, my shield, my buckler, man. All right. He's our safe goat, man. All right. It says from the choking of fire on every side and from the mist of the fire, which I kindled not. It says from the depth of the belly of hell, from an unclean tongue and from lying words, man. All right. You know, the Lord is going to deliver us, preserve us, you know, from nuclear destruction. All right. You know, you know, uh, if a volcano erupts, man. All right. You got to have faith that the Lord, that the Lord, you know, will preserve you, man. All right. Because that's ultimate judgment of the Lord, man. That earthquake, you know, and whatever it does to the houses and people, that's all judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. That's the point of this lesson. All right. You know. In verse 5, you can also tie this in. It says, from the depth of the belly of hell. All right, that sinkhole, you know, you know, as I read in, in Numbers, that's that's the depths, that's depths of hell, man. You know? You know, but hey, if you trust in the Lord, hey, the Lord will deliver you from that, man. All right, the Lord, the Lord will deliver you, you know, so you, you're not at the wrong place at the wrong time, man. All right? Because, you know, let me end with this. Proverbs 24 and 20, or is it 20 and 24? Well, no, scripture it says, man's goings, Proverbs 20 and 24, man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? All right, man's goings are of you. How about Shimei Al-Shai, man? Whoever perished being innocent, man. These natural disasters is judgment from the Lord. All right, and the Lord visiting, you know, the place which he made, man. All right, so uh, Lord willing, this video is edified. I'm give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makar, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David, and to the next lesson, I say Shalom and Ababa Ball. Shalom.